Yes, hello there and welcome to yet another day where we will be looking at something else and that is what is called appearing in the TV and stealing someone's item. But remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel account and we will tell you more about how to go about editing. For now, let us just take the tablet and that is how you go about it. Hello there and uh, welcome to yet another session and uh, today I will know I have received many questions of how do you go about the idea of stealing a phone while in TV. Well, the idea is very simple and many people were confused, but I have decided to place that camera behind so that you can be able to see the whole setup. Now, the reason I decided to do that is this is the main camera and the main camera is focused here. I don't know if the producer is doing what I'm saying. This is the main camera focused on where the whole setup will be taking place. Now let me explain something here. I decided to be using the seats. Uh, this is going to be the first seat and this is going to be the second seat. Then at this point I have the tripod. I did not have anything else which could have been able to give me a good circle or maybe a good shape. So I decided to just use a boomstick to be able to have this kind of a shape that appears like a TV so that my shape will not be diagonal or any other shape. So I decided to use this so that I can be able to have a shape. I think that is where it was supposed to be. I made some changes in the morning while I was doing something else. So make sure that it is straight because once you miss something it's going to ruin everything so that is okay so once you have that at that point then you need to now make this your tv so i need this so i will use this one of my acoustics here so i just take the acoustic and i put my acoustic at that point so that I can be able to do that better. Then, because I want to reach out to my tablet, I will place my tablet here and make sure that you are able to measure the distance between you, the tablet, and also you and the computer because you will be editing and you will also place the tablet on the computer so you can be able to measure. So once you do that, I can also use this so that I can move it a bit. My concern is this. It should be on the same level. Then once you do that, you need another thing. Now because we don't have a green screen, uh, in this case I don't have a green screen, what I'm going to use is a blue screen because when you are working with RGB, or that it if you are working with removing the background, all the concern is RGB, red, green, and blue, to be able to remove the background. So I will be using my blue background here. So I have my blue background. So I, my blue yeah. So I will just use it to be able to cover all the areas that I want to remove using Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's very simple. You use Premiere Pro to be able to remove all those effects. So you just make sure that everything is done well. It's a very simple step. But once you miss anything, you discover that the whole process and the whole plan is going to go astray. Try as much as possible to make it smooth and flat. So once you do that, you now take your tablet. So this is what this was the tablet, and I made sure that the tablet, the position of the tablet is like that. So for example, I place it there. I don't know if the camera is able to see. So I'll just move the camera a bit so you can be able to explain. So at that point, once you do that, the next thing you need to understand is the shadows. You don't need the shadows because the moment you'll be taking the camera, the tablet, the shadows should not be there. So that's why you discover we have, I decided to work with two lights, one light here and the other light here, so that the moment I go and pick, there are no shadows there. Because the moment you have any shadows, it's going to ruin everything. 
So once you do that, now the, the main camera, this being the main camera, is supposed to be taking you as the subject. And I have used the tripod stand, so if you don't have a, any tripod stand, you just be creative. I'm going to just to turn the camera so I can be able to monitor to understand that the whole area was well done. So at this point, you discover the headroom is not well balanced, so I will just tilt it up a bit so that I will be able to explain better. I have ruined the focus. Let me just place on the right order. Once you set your focus, you zoom out a bit, and you tilt up. But forgetting that the, cons the tablet is supposed to be the main subject. So the tablet at this point, this seat should be somewhere there because the tablet should be outstanding. Uh, okay, then at that point, now this is where the secret was. Measure the distance between you and the tablet. So our concern is now the person standing here. So I will just talk like I was speaking and saying that uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel account. But for now, let me just take the tablet. And I will just take the tablet and I will leave. Now the moment you leave, the rest of the work is now up to Premiere Pro to help you to know how now to go about it. But even before you go to Premiere Pro, you need now to do another shoot where you will be now seated there with your computer and you just record another part when you have only your computer and nothing else. So that you are, I was busy, you are busy reading your newspaper. There is not, the tablet is just going to be guiding you on how to go about it, but that shall be there. So let's move to the other side so we can be able to explain on the other side. Yes, and now at this point, this is where the next thing was and the next trick was here. You just place the camera and make sure that this camera is able to monitor your computer. But the first thing, make sure you place the, lap, the iPad there. Record for some few minutes. After you record for a few minutes, remove the tablet. The reason for this is because you are going to be matching the two. So once you remove the tablet, you will now remain with your table without anything, then make sure you are not going to cover the screen. Now the reason I'm speaking about that is because the moment you just cover the screen, you're going to ruin the whole thing. Now I'm going to just change, assume that this is my camera, if I do like this, I'm going to cover the screen and I'm going to ruin things. So you are supposed to give it space, make sure you are, there is space between you and the screen, then at that point, you now have everything, make yourself busy so that the person might seem to be taking and they are not aware of what is happening. Then when you just finish, now it's now a combination of the work you have done in studio and the work you have done in the other area, bringing the whole work together. And once you do that, you find that everything is now a success. Now, once that is said and done, we will now move to the next part where now we are editing. Yes, so after everything, after reaching to that point, after how we have, after looking at how to go about taking the phone from the other end, then how to go about copying the whole information here, how you are faking the newspaper. So I'm going to just use the videos I was I had recorded earlier onwards, so you can use them. So the first thing, just import the videos. So these were my videos, the two videos. So I had renamed them so that I can be able to work with them best. So drag them on your timeline. So from that point, you can begin with this video. Just put it on video two. Then play. Yes, hello there, and welcome to yet another day where we will be looking at something. Now this video is supposed to appear as if it's appearing on the computer. So what we are going to do, we are going to take this other video and place it at this point. Now I'm, I want you to discover one thing here. Watch. At this point, I decided to place the tablet so I can measure how big the tablet will fit. So it was not 100% accurate, so that's why at some point 
I removed the tablet. So I will begin from this point. So I delete this. Now this is my work. So at this point I was doing nothing, just reading the newspaper. In fact, I was not even reading. I was just pretending that I'm reading. But you need to make yourself busy, even if it's Yes, make yourself busy. So I did not reach to that point because I made a mistake. Make sure that you don't, your head will not come into contact with the computer. So that's why I messed. So that's why this part I decided not to include. And that is how you go about it. But that one was there. So I will just exclude the part at this point. So I'm going to split and I will move this. I put this one on top. So what will happen, having done that, uh, don't worry about why I'm not putting it in front because I'm doing another work at that point, so that's why I don't want to cancel. So you have these two things. Yes, hello there, and welcome to yet another. There's a place where he's, I had action and I don't want it there, so I will just exclude. Hello there, and look. I have deleted something that is not supposed to be deleted, so I move this a bit. Hello there and welcome. Uh, accurate. Be accurate. Yes, hello there and welcome. I tend to believe that's okay. So once you do that, the first thing is just to remove the background. So using Ultra key, remove the background. Double click, then effects control, and click on Ultra key. Eye dropper on the blue background. So you'll discover my lighting was not that well balanced, so that is why it has those issues. First, let me apply aggressive here. So you discover the background was not that perfect, but you are going to see what you are going to do. So the next thing you need to understand, these areas, all these other areas, we are going to remove them. Alternatively, you can apply Ultra Key again and remove the bluish remaining around. Apply aggressive again. So at this point, that is better. So after you do that, you need now to reduce the scale. Yeah? It should not be that big. So you're going to come to your work, reduce the scale a bit to something like that. My tablet is good when it's at that point. So decide where you want the tablet to be. Once you are certain, reduce the opacity. First, reduce the opacity. And I want you to note this. Don't create the keyframe. So I will delete this keyframe. Don't create this keyframe. So disengage the keyframe. So reduce the opacity. And make sure the keyframe, opacity keyframe is not selected. So after doing that, I'm doing that so that I can be able to monitor and see how the other end is so that my computer can fit best. So I'll just reduce a bit to make sure it did not crop me. Then I move it at the center. So at that point, I will wish to work with the full screen. So below the escape button, you have that. So at the moment you want to work with the full screen. But because I want to first crop the part I don't want, I'm going to use the pen tool, then full screen, select the area. So this is my area. Now, make sure you select the tablet here also because it is in your selection. So you just select. Then join. Once you do that, it's normal size. Take, increase your opacity back to 100%. And there you go. So at this point, if you discover a mistake, just move this a bit. You discover this part is cropped, so you just read. You can move him a bit. And then move this, move this. There you go. Now at this point, you have this. Yes, hello there, and welcome to yet another day where we will be looking at something else, and that is 
what is called appearing in the TV and stealing someone's item. But remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel account and we will tell you more about how to go about editing. For now, let us just take the tablet. So what, he, what happened at this point, because the video was too short, I will just copy the video because I did a short video more than, and it was not the expected. So I will just copy. But in your case, I know you are going to do a long one. So don't, this is not supposed to bother you. So that I can now have it at this point. Yes, hello there and welcome to yet another day where we will be looking at something else and that is what is called appearing in the TV and stealing someone's item. But remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel account and we will tell you more about how to go about editing. For now, let us just take the tablet and And that is how we went about it. It's not a hard thing, it's very, very simple. Only that sometimes such things are always made and the magicians use this to make us think that sometimes magic is real. Otherwise, it's not a challenge, it's as simple as ABC and that is what we had for today. Otherwise, have a good day and don't forget, hit the subscribe button and if you think the video was worth, just subscribe and share. But if you say like, ah, yeah. It's okay. Otherwise, all the best. Let's meet tomorrow with another video.